Okay, let's consider the effectiveness of fiscal policy. Now, what do we mean by effectiveness? Yeah, the question is, if I change government spending, what is a change in taxes? We have learned it leads to a, a change in income. The question is, by how much will income change for a given change in government spending or taxes? Fiscal policy will be effective if, if this change in government spending taxes has a big impact on the level of output. In other words, by increasing government spending, you get a large increase in the level of output, income and employment. Ineffective will be when this change in government spending or taxes leads only to a very small change in the level of income. And we have now to look to see what are the factors that determines by how much level of output will increase. Now I'm going to use the events chain to do that. And we start off by saying there's an increase in government spending, which increases the demand for goods and the level of output. And in this process there's the multiplier. Now in terms of your ISLA model, this is a right with shift of the IS curve. And you can see there's the increase in uh, income, output and income. Now, the story, however, does not end here. Because as we know, when there's an increase in the level of output, there's more, a more a higher need for transactions, so more money is demanded on the financial market and we have this increase in the interest rate. Now, this is where you can see in the model there's this increase in the interest rate. Now, this increase in the interest rate will now bring about a decrease in investment spending. This is one of the factors we have to consider when we look at the effectiveness of fiscal policy because as you can see, as government spending increases, there is now a decrease in investment spending. We refer to that as the crowding out effect. But we also know in this model, the increase in output, however, increases investment spending. So one wants to know what is the net effect here. Now, if we assume the interest elasticity of investment is very high, in other words, a small change in investment, uh, interest rate will bring about a large change in investment spending, we're going to argue that this makes fiscal policy much less effective because this change in interest rate will bring about a large decrease in investment. Coupled with that, if the income elasticity of investment is very low, in other words, the, the, the change in the level of output has a small effect on investment, then this increase is relatively small. So you have this decrease in investment spending. In terms of your demand for goods, we can see that, which consists of C, consumption plus investment, plus government spending, that the increase in government spending leads to increase in consumption spending, that's through the multiplier effect, and we will have a decrease in the level of investment spending. So in this case, government spending is crowding out investment spending, and by how much will depend on the interest elasticity and the income elasticity of investment. In terms of your IS curve, this caused the slope to be relatively flat. So you have a flat IS curve showing there's a strong relationship between interest rate and investments. This one will influence the shift of the curve. So if this is a small relationship or the income elasticity is small, then the shift is relatively small. And as you can see, the change in income is not very large. So in this case we will say Fiscal policy is not very effective in increasing the level of output. And the main reason is to do with this interest elasticity of investment and as well as the income elasticity.